sneaking us back again. As requested, we're going to install a tiny core to your blank drive, okay? So some of you have been saying, I don't know how to do it, even though I've done videos on this before, but this is the last time I'm going to do it for a long while, okay? So take a point and take haste, as they say. I'm going to open up the browser, okay? And we're going to search for tiny core. So if we put in tiny core, we'll go to their website, so downloads. And what you need is Core Plus, because basically it comes with everything and all the bits and bobs and Windows managers, and it's nicer anyway. And it's only 64 megabytes to download, so it's no big deal really, okay? So we get out of that. Right, so I've got it in VirtualBox for a simple reason. I can't do this sort of install without using it, okay? I can't record it at the same time, all right? Oh dear, yes. So anyway, we're in the core, lovely jubbly, super duper. What you first need to do is go to apps, then in apps, you click on apps, go to cloud and then browse okay and then we'll go to our repository Ooh. first thing you need to get and install is g parted okay so just type it in the search bar and there we are now i've already got this already okay because it takes a little while to download in the box it's a bit slower in the box you also need to download e2 fs progs okay which is also in here shall i type in it for you yeah okay we do e2 fs progs there we go. And you want that one there. And as you can see, I've already installed it because the bar is red, okay? And you do need these two. Right, we left click our desktop and we go to G Parted. Okie dokie. And there's my file system. Now, I've already done this before, but hey, I'm going to do it for you. What you need to do is go to Device and then Create a Partition Table and click OK, okay? And it will do it all for you. Once it's done that, you want to left click it and go to New. And I'm going to resize it a bit because I want to give myself a bit of swap, okay? So if I just give myself around about that much swap, that should be more than enough. You can leave it as ext2 if you want to. It doesn't really matter because it redoes it in the installer. All right, so it's no big deal. So if I click on Add, that's fine. Then on that second bit of the partition that I want for swap, I go to New again, and we click here, and we go down to Linux Swap, and then we click Add again. Okay. We click Apply, and Apply, and it will start applying. Really good, doesn't it? It doesn't take too long. Obviously, if you've got two cores, it'll be quicker. It all depends on what you want to do. It's normally a bit quicker in this, by the way. I just thought I'd tell you. Anyway, and while that's doing that, I'm going to have a bit of drinkage. Hang on a second. And very nice it is, too. Ah, yum, 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 yum. Thanks, man. Here we go. First operation done. Da, 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 da. We can wait and we wait and we wait. And we wait longer. Me wait longer. By the way, once you've got it installed, you can resize the uh, screen to get the right resolution for you. You can download the drivers for NVIDIA cards and all that and get it all working hunky dory, just exactly how you want it to do. Right, we're all done. So we click on close, and there we are. That's all you need to do in the partitioning. So we click Reddit, and we go down to here and we go to the TC install or tiny core install. Okay, we click on there. Now, basically, it's all done for you. Done through nothing there, it's got it all there for you. I'm going to go to whole disk and we want to put it on SDA because SR0 is your disk for Tiny Core. Yes, it is. So we click SDA and we want to install the bootloader. So make sure that's ticked and then we go forward. Yes, now here you can say what you want to format to. Now I've already done it through XT2, but I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll do, yeah, we'll do XT4. Why not? So we go forward. Here you can put in stuff that you want to do, bloody bloody blah. I don't even bother. You can just click forward again. Now, once it's installed, you get the option to have the wireless support, the NDS wrapper, and wireless firmware as standard. Now, if you want, I'll just click all of these just to make it easier for you for your first install. If you've done it before, or once you've done it a few times, you'll know exactly what you need to do. So we click forward again. Right, it's going to go from there. Yeah, it's fine. It's going to be a frugal SDA. EXT format and it's going to install the XGUI for us. Now all we do here is click on proceed and wait. Now normally it's really 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 quick under a minute and I'll tell you a minute there we go it's starting its stuff mm -hmm. a bit more orange very nice is too it's formatting our partition that we give it now obviously as I said before yours could be 10 gigabyte it could be 20 gigabyte it could be 50, it could be 100. Well, that's pretty defeating the object of using tiny core, really, if you're doing that sort of thing. You don't, you don't really need a small drive or a USB stick, even, because you can do it to USB, as you would have seen a little bit earlier. So, yeah. It sets up the core image. Installation has completed. That took around about 32 seconds. And you're ready to go. 
all you do now, if I just get rid of that because it's finished, goodbye. If you go here to our exit, all you have to do is shut down. And don't worry about this because once you reboot from the hard drive, it'll all be tickety boo and lovely. Okay, and that's all you need to do. Yeah, really, that's all you need to do. And that's the whole install of Tiny Core. Super duper. I hope you like that because I'm going to be doing it for some time now. Sneaky Linux going out. I'll see you later. Bye bye.